Hey, Zach. You okay? Yeah, man. Just, I know we got a show to do, but I'm just feeling a little horny. Horny? Why? This has been a while. How long? About 65 million years. 65 million years, you say? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Hi there. What's up, girl? What's up? So, we decided this month to do another Masterpiece Theater. The last one we did was two years ago? Is that right? I think. When we did Optimus Prime? Maybe three years ago? Was, was that 2016? I don't remember. What, what is time? What is what is the concept of time? Yeah. How does one move through time? I don't know, but it happens and we do. Do, is is a product like YouTube, does that render some of time uh, inadequate? Because you could literally go to any time that something's been posted on YouTube and watch it's it. It's kind of weird watching something and thinking, wow, this was recorded and, and posted like five years ago. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it is weird. It's like yeah. a it is like a time machine. It is. Yeah. Well, so this time, as you can see, we went Cretaceous. Is that is that right? These yeah. Cretaceous I would dinosaurs? say that, I would say these dinosaurs are truly Cretaceous. Truly, truly... Truly Cretaceous? Truly. I get it. It's hard. It's hard word to say. Yeah. When, when you're... Uh, like, uh, nothing else is the same. Slag is his name. You're really into this. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, 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 I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, so yeah. So we're doing this. Uh, my stupid ass got sick, so we had to, we yeah. had to postpone. We had a whole postpone. thing. We had a whole thing last week. And and then he got sick. I got sick like two days before, and I was trying to beat it. So it didn't. But work. we wanted to get some content out to our yeah. Server, and we figured, you know what? We don't have a whole we don't have a whole time for him to edit a whole a whole bunch. I don't. Of I don't have enough time. We got enough time to knock these we got, boys we, out. We're doing this. This is the thing that we're doing. This is coming out uh, of our butts. Yeah. Hold on to them. Hold on to your butts. There you go. That's it's what's gonna saying. be hard That's to transform saying. it though. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay. So. We've got masterpiece slags here. We both masterpiece -esque. have masterpiece-esque. Masterpiece-esque. You're right. They're they're both third-party bots. They're both from respected companies, yeah. and uh, we decided we've actually been planning on doing this for a while. Yeah, pretty much since you got him. Yeah, we're like, hey, we should do a masterpiece yeah. theater with these, and that was two years ago. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. if not right. longer. Yeah, but uh, we switch up formats tonight, like we do in our yeah. theaters. We're uh. Rocking some Tricera hops. Yeah, these guys are big bruisers. And we're big boozers. Yeah. So we're gonna do some boozers. Toozers. With the bruisers. Got it. Because it's a brew? You get it? It's a brew? It's a, I it's get a brew? It. We get it. Okay. We got it. So this is called Tricera hops. Because of course it is. And I like how even the Triceratops depicted on there is like a robot Triceratops. Oh, definitely, yeah. So this is perfect. definitely meant to be slag. Or like a Trojan Ceratops? Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. Are there a bunch of Velociraptors in there? Who knows? Yeah, you, 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 no one suspects the Velociraptors coming out of the big wooden Triceratops. That's the way we do it. That's right. So we're actually just going to, we're just going to, we're going to do something we've never done before. Yeah. We're going to shotgun these. Yeah, and I'm terrible at this. Yeah. So everybody enjoy. We're them. going to ruin ourselves. Let's do this. Oh, that's actually tasty. Uh, 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 now it's gassy. Uh, uh, woo. You know you don't get the you don't get the cringe. No, oh, no. <clears throat> it's a different kind of cringe. Yeah. That's definitely tasty though. I like that. So I think you went first last time, but you, you know, know what? what? I'm gonna fill this up. Oh. I'm not gonna chug it again, but I wanna have something to sip while we're doing this. I'm having a good time. With okay. This. Do you not want to... No, I mean, it? I can definitely partake. I can do this. <laughs> got a little too uh, heavy on that one. You got a little too aggressive with that pour. Was, was... You know, so I, I read something on the internet 
<coughs> not read, but I watched a video. And of course, since I watched the video, I'm now an expert on all things regarding to it. That's how um, vax, uh, anti-vax uh, research works on the internet. So that's how um, beer research is going to work. Is that why your uh, slag <coughs> is not vaccinated? That's true. That's true. I did not get my slag vaccinated. Um, anyway, <laughs> so apparently, your people that pour them super slowly so as you get no head. It's actually worse for you because pouring it so it gets head releases a lot of the carbon dioxide. Mm. Um, whereas if you don't release that carbon dioxide, when you put it in your stomach, it's, you just, it's, it's just going to mix around and the carbon dioxide is going to come out there. Mm. And it's just going to it's gonna fuck up your insides. Whereas if you mix it here and drink it, you're not going to have as much gas in here in yeah. your belly. Although, and, and if, you're, if you have a beer on nitro, and I know this, if you have a beer on nitro, you're supposed to just up in the bottle and pour it as hard as you can yeah. so it has that nitrogen reaction. I also read that, that aliens uh, and nitro infused their beer when they caused 9-11. That's what I read on the internet. So tell us about yours. This is... This is Fans Toy Scoria. Now this is the very first, not, not counting the official masterpiece Grimlock. This was the first... Like MP that I MP, had. Well MP like Dinobot ever released. Yeah. Besides Masterpiece And it's Grimlock. like the first one I had. I, yeah. I didn't have um, MP10 for a little bit. That's true. So th this is my first guy. This is actually my third, third part. No, no. This my, no, wait, I think no, no, I, no, no, no. No, 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 it's not my third. No, this may be your fifth or sixth third party yeah. bot. This is definitely the most expensive bot I bought for a long time. Yeah. Because um, I bought this off eBay. This is, yeah. back, this is back before we became uh, frequenters of the third party... <laughs> And Transformer that, website. That is, this is pre TF Source and our friendship with the Chosen Prime. Yeah, yeah. And I got him, and he was a little more than I wanted, but since I really didn't want to buy all of them, I figured, like, and I had no idea when they were going to come out, because this one came sure. out for a while before anyone came out. Yeah, they kind of just released this, and that was it for a bit. Yeah. This is the one that came with the, the platform shoes. The platform shoes. MPO, was it? It was, it was, it was MP MPO. Was, yeah. The MPO8? Yes, MPO8. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but the MP08, the Grimlock, he was shorter than this guy. Yeah. And that's one of the big complaints. I remember when MP Grimlock, Grimlock, I can't talk, I'm a little, I'm already a little buzzed. I remember when MP Grimlock came out, um, people complained that he was yeah. kind of too short. So they, they fixed so. his, they fixed his shoes. They, they gave did. him some shoes. They gave him some disco shoes. Yeah. And I definitely, um, I just wanted this for this fucking uh, chunky football yeah. mode. I, I've, I've only ever transformed him. Uh, when I first got him, because he yeah. came in in, uh, in robot mode, mode and yeah. then I put him in alt mode, and he's pretty much stayed there. The first time I transformed him since was to transform him for pictures earlier tonight. That was mm -hmm. the first time, and since 2014, yeah, I think, is when I bought this guy. Do you still display him with Optimus Prime riding on top of I him? I switched it up. I, I, okay. he's, not, he's not doing it right now, but yeah. for a while he was, yeah. he was. I remember that. I remember seeing that in the glass case. And, and I think I might put it back there, actually, now that we're talking yeah. about it. It's been a while. It's been a while. while. What made you want to buy this? Well, I'm, I've, I've talked about it before. I'm a slag man. I'm, you I'm, are a slag. I'm yes, a slag it, man. Yeah. Oh, and I'm a slag. Yeah. I'm a slag. For those of you who don't know, slag is a derogatory term in the UK for, for basically like a slut. It's, it's like a yeah. prostitute. Like a prostitute. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of fun. So they had to change his name on the, the official media. Yeah, now, now he's slug. Slug. Which slug. is dumb. Which is dumb. Yeah. But, you know, still like vaguely a Yeah, it's fine. I do like in the IDW comics that they brought it up, um, how they changed his name was they came into contact with RC and he got a little bit of a crush on RC, so he changed his name to Slug to be polite. Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, oh, it, was, it was like a tongue in that's tongue cute. joke as to that's why he cute. did it. I really like these guys in the IDW comics. Oh, yeah. They're, I think the Dinobots are probably one of the better parts of the IDW comics. And it's just kind of it's funny, like the... Grimlock is not with them for almost all Most of the IDW yeah. run. Yeah. yeah, he's he's off on some he, other weird thing. He's but. hanging out with the the, like the misfit guys, the yeah, the, the scavengers. Fire, scavengers. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And then Slag is actually the kind of the leader, the de facto leader of the Dinobots. Interesting. And, and they trip, they get Trypticon. As really? As a member? Towards the end. Yeah, it's it's kind funny. of funny. So they, they get a Tyrannosaurus back. <laughs> but, but not Grimlock. Yeah. Spoilers. And it's the, the Dinobots is spelled with oh, like a Y, right? Yeah. yeah. The, the Dino the Dinobots. Dinobots! Dinobots! But yeah, I, uh, I loved Slag as a kid, and I loved this figure because he has a cheap Excuse know, me. G1 head. Yeah. I have to say, in dinosaur mode, he, obviously he's bigger. 
But I think he looks a lot more cartoon. Yeah, he's actor. cartoon. This is toy. Toy. He, he, For lo- sure. he looks like an oversized toy. I just was noticing because I've never like I've I've seen yours before. Yeah. But I've never like seen it. In seen it. Like I've seen it, but I've never like seen it. You know what I mean? That's how I feel about this one. I've yeah. only ever seen it in pictures like this. Yeah. But then in person, it's always it, a robot. It's different in person. Yeah, for sure. While we're still in Dino mode, um, he's got you know like basic kind of what you expect, like a lot of you know, bendy Dino things. As much as articulation as you can get with that. I mean, they technically got like full range of motion. Uh-huh. He's got some ratchety head stuff. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a sexy ratchet. I realized I should have polished up his horns. His horns have oxidized over the last four years. So Interesting. They're a little, they're a little uh, dim. Yeah. A um, you know, little mouth thing with a little key yeah. in there. Excuse me. He's got this cute little... <laughs> I know I wore this on the last episode, but were, did. we didn't know you we were doing to. this. No, we, we didn't really have plan do doing this. It just happened. And he's got his cute little bendy tail. Mm-hmm. He's a pain in the ass because I keep him like this in my shelf, which yeah. makes him super hard to display because he's other long. Because he's long, so yeah. I have to kind of angle him and I have stuff stacked behind him. Yeah. But yeah, he's definitely not uh, an easy guy. But I just can't keep him in this mode. Like his robot mode's cool, but I just I'm. Yeah. I'm I love this little dino boat. He's a little football and I love him. We're definitely going to compare this to mine because yeah. I, I kind of want to go back so, and forth. So, so yeah. while we got this cartoon feel for this one, yeah. let's focus on some of the G1 for this this big man. Yeah, right so this is definitely, Giga Power went full on toy. What's his name? Talk, talk I'm to sorry, you. this is Giga Power's Grassor. Uh, because Giga Power... Grassor? Yeah. I hardly know whore. That was, that was awful. You should, you should feel bad. <laughs> I need a whiskey! <laughs> Why are you making me drink this beer? I mean, it's, a, it's an issue. That's yeah. true. You know yeah. what? No, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, no, I, I don't mind this. Tricera hops. It's not bad. Um, it's from, was it, Ninkasi Brewing? It's in Oregon. Ninkasi sounds like a Star Wars. like It does! Ninkasi Guild. Yeah, for sure. It definitely sounds like that. The Masters of Ninkasi. I know it's Terrace Kasi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that they brought that up in Solo. I laughed so hard in the theater and no one else did. I felt like such a big-ass fucking nerd. I did the same thing and Terrace was like, why are you you laughing about that? It's a PlayStation game and it was an awful PlayStation game. And they just made it canon. <laughs> and, yeah, and despite the fact that, that Disney used like, everything to destroy all of the 90s canon stuff, but they, they threw this But they brought under, back under Masters the and Terrence Kazi for some reason. Because for some reason in the 90s, we were like, do you want a Star Wars Tekken game? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so back, back, back to this guy. Back to these. Even though it's the chrome version, they also released a metallic version. And the thing about their metallic versions, they're more matte instead of shiny like this, mm. but they come with extra accessories mm. uh, to kind of make up for the lack of chrome, because I guess it's like cheaper or whatever. The chrome ones usually come with like flame accessories. <laughs> right. Since I did a pre-order on him, I got that the flame accessory for that. And I don't have the adapter, but you can put, I know the flames over yeah. there, but there's an adapter where you can you can put it in his mouth to have like the flame yeah, I've, coming out. I've seen pictures of yeah. it. Yeah, he also comes with sort of a translucent, um, smoky kind of yeah. head covering to make him more toy accurate. I know, shortly after to. I bought yeah. this one, they had that came with one of the subsequent figures mm-hmm. for him so you could put it on him. You could him put it on him, yeah. The they also have one for his tail, basically, yeah. to just make it more Which, toy quick, accurate. I love that all the Dinobots have, like, you know, all... Uh, Transformers have like designation, like mm-hmm. they're, what their job is, you yeah. know, like you know, reconnaissance or whatever. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I love that all the Dinobots yeah. have them, except his is the only one that's not a real job. His is just flamethrower. That's it. Yeah, that like, is a real job. Are you kidding I know, me? I know, but all the others have like you know, like demolitions. So, yeah, demolitions or, or, or strategies. But his or is just flamethrower. It's flamethrower. All right, we're doing that. Slags is a flame. He's a flamer. You, you, you know, Triceratops <laughs> is in there. Historic. I mean, yeah. The Triceratops has never been known for being fire breathing. Especially, I mean, and especially like it's he's, he's a herbivore. Like, yeah, I don't understand it's like he's... the least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, he's chromy. Mine actually came with um, some imperfections on the chrome here because I think they put him in the box too yeah. soon after chroming it. So he has some. Um, uh, it's actually styrofoam, not residue, but kind of impressions. Yeah. On the chrome up here, but I covered it up mostly with the Autobot logo. It's fine. Uh, I don't want to throw big too much of a tantrum because well, especially because you don't usually have him displayed in this. I don't. I'm, so. He's in robot mode for the most part. <laughs> the head's always and back his here. head's back here. I guess fans toys got mad 
at Gigapower for releasing Dinobots, and they had sort of a feud going on. I don't know if this is actually true, but it's what I heard. And then they were like, we're going to release this guy, and we're going to release him for like 140 bucks instead of our normal 200 bucks that Gutter uh, was. Because this is the second Dinobot they released. Oh, yeah, the Snarl was the, the first one. The Snarl was the first one. So they released him second, and then Fans Toys kind of retaliated uh, and they with, made a more toy with, accurate. They version. made a toy a toy accurate version of this and priced it the same. Yeah. So there's like definitely some rivalry there, and I was hoping that meant that the next couple of Dinobot releases would all be 140 as yeah. well. They weren't. They're all 200. dollars I would just but. love it if Hasbro swooped in and be like, "Oh, those designs. We're just gonna steal those because you can't do anything." Why about wouldn't it. they? They can't. They've already I done s- that a couple times. I know. Yeah. I, I don't know why they haven't really just gone like full force instead of yeah. instead of just suing them and making a marginal amount of money. Mm-hmm. They're probably not making any money and just shutting them down. Right. Just steal just the design. Steal the design. And they release can't. It. They can't do anything about it. What's What's a third party company that's infringing on your property gonna do? They can't what? sue you. Fuck it. Just do it. Hasbro, take this design. Yeah. What are they gonna do? Or this one, which is a little bit more simple than this one. Yeah. What are they gonna do? Yeah. Sue you? Yeah. For your intellectual property. Right? How dare you steal your property back? That's why I love KOs yeah. of third party things. Oh, like, for sure. Like, like, no, what are you gonna do? You, do? you, have, you have literally no ground to stand on. KO. Also, I've never understood brand loyalty. Like, yeah. you know these people making money off you don't care about They you. don't give a shit about you at all, yeah. whatsoever. It's like yeah. if a celebrity, like, you meet them in a meet and greet, they're like, oh, thanks for being a fan. They don't they actually don't really care, care. Except that you are paying for Except for all my fans. If you ever say anything to me, I truly care. He is not giving a shit about I do. Him. You shut your he goddamn mouth. He takes a shit on everything. That's he's... definitely not true. That's definitely not true. Also, I mean, like, you don't make enough money to not That's true. That's true. That's, that's the thing. Is I don't, yeah. if, as soon as I'm making you know, millions of dollars yeah, out doing all this, all then yeah, I don't give a shit. All. But right now, I totally give a shit. Yeah. So you guys are all welcome. Yeah. <laughs> we love <laughs> you. <laughs> Anyways, anyway, back, so back, back to Slag. This is Slag, and he's great. He's obviously bigger than Scoria. Yeah. Grassor is bigger than Scoria. Honestly, yeah, because, the because the bot mode is so much bigger, uh-huh. I expected this mode to be bigger than it's it is, not, but it's actually manageable. This is actually, I think, of the four I have, well, with, the, with regards to Swoop. Swoop's always small. In Dino mode, he, oh, even, you know, even with Swoop, because Swoop's wingspan is fucking ridiculous. He, I think he is actually the smallest of the four Dinobots yeah. out. Gutter feels huge. Um, I mean, obviously, Sludge is fucking huge. Yeah. So, um... Well, because honestly, I have never seen him in this mode in person yeah. until tonight. Yeah. And I didn't really want this line because I don't let him do yeah. Masterpiece and I don't want them that big. Yeah. But now I really want this in this mode because yeah. he's just big enough that I, he's adorable. Like, he's cool, but like... You can, like, cuddle him. He's small, <laughs> enough, he's small enough that he'd fit on my slag shelf. Yeah. Because I have a slag... Based on Dino modes here, who wins? It's one of those t- it's one of those tough calls for me because it's really the cu- question of toy or, or cartoon tune accuracy. Sure. I love him. Yeah. And from here back, uh-huh. they're about tied for me because I okay. I like the heft on both of them. They both got you know like different details and stuff. Like I'm great with both of yeah. them. I like his face a little more because it's got that kind of. Sure. Excuse me. Like, yeah, face. Like he's got that kind yeah, of he's, square. He's, yeah, he's square a little. Uh, yeah. But this was a close call for me too because I think it looks great. Yeah. I've never been a fan of the red horn. Yeah. That's that, my, that's... You know, so the metallic version comes with silver horns. Okay. Um, the chrome version came with red horns. Yeah. There are a couple things with this. <laughs> Last year, the reason we never got around to doing this is oh, the tail. Yeah. The tail broke off right here. It's been a f- almost a full it, year. It or took them. A full it year? took them almost exactly a year. To send out a, a replacement. It'd be cool if they had a calendar where they're like, we're gonna send this out a year. A to, year. Like they from have a the bunch day. of. Like, it was literally almost to the day that I broke my tail that I got a replacement for it. Uh, and it, they warned me it was gonna be a while, but I thought that was like a couple months, not like 12 months. Right. Anyway, uh, but they did send me out a new one. It was free, and actually, it was Toy Dojo that um, I got a box from Toy shout Dojo. Out to Toy Dojo. So shout out to Toy Dojo. You guys are legit. Yeah, every, it's Eddie, right? Is yeah, it Eddie? Eddie? Yeah. Every dealing I've had with yeah. them has been fucking top shelf. So I know we talk about we talk about you know TF Source and we talk about Chosen Prime and yeah. I had like one conversation with Eddie and I remember his name. I don't. I'm not Facebook friends with him or anything. Yeah. But I remember his name because he was just so nice at TFCon. Yeah. You like Slag best of these two or this score? It's tough. It's I think tough. like I'm pretty much tied. Yeah. Because. I, 
I mean, I I don't need I don't need him this big, but yeah, I like his like I like that he's a little compact yeah. and a little round. I like his little football yeah. little football torso. I, I didn't go over the articulation on oh, mine. Yeah. Go, mine yeah. does have uh, it is it's not ratchety like yours either. Ratchet's nice. Yeah, the only uh, thing, the only thing is great is that he turns. Yeah, so mine mine right. turns a little bit, but not not much. Obviously, he's got an open and closing mouth. His frills. Do you have, do you have are, a gun in your mouth too? No, that's the one thing oh, I don't God. have. Actually, I do. Just kidding. You have one up there. Yeah, it Here's comes down. Roof. So it's it's like. Uh, he's Captain Crunching it, or the roof of his mouth is all cut up. So he's got, I think, kind of the same as yours. He's got ratchety arms yeah. right here, and it kind of comes out like this. It actually isn't really ratchety. But oh, uh, I, I mine's rat- I'm super ratchety. ratchety this way. Interesting, but mine's not ratchety different. both ways. His back legs aren't ratchety at all, and that's due to transformation. Yeah. And they also come kind of back and forward and kind of out yeah. a little bit, but that's a little bit due to transformation. Um, and then his tail. He's got one, and then um, yeah. actually just one. This little this little piece right here apparently doesn't move I, at all. I guess we we could do a kind of comparison too. Yeah, and his has two little joints. Yeah, mine no, mine of, it looks like it has two, but it really doesn't. It which, only has the this one. This has honestly been helpful for me in my display yeah. shelves because I, I do have like tears. the tail on yours a little bit better. Like I like that. Like I can kind of turn this to the side a little bit so yeah. I can kind of pose stuff around it. Let's get yours transformed, and you know what? Like, walk us through it. Okay, cool. Um, like I said, this is my... Take a drink for love. Yeah. This is my third time transforming him ever. Mm-hmm. I already had a breakage issue. Um, yeah, RIP. Yeah. I have, always have him in dino mode, so I don't know. One of the little knuckles broke off on his middle finger. Which I'm is his sure favorite you, finger. Uh, is it the middle finger? Yeah, it was the middle finger. I'm sure you could probably get a replacement. I'm sure. It's been a million years. And I also don't yeah. really care, because I always keep him in this mode, so whatever issues are trapped under these bad Message boys. Eddie. See what he can do for uh, you. So yeah, I'll start, I'll start this piece. So his tail has a nice little collapsible feature. It pegs in like that. Mm-hmm. So you unpeg this guy. There's a little button right here that helps collapse the tail. Oh, that's kind of neat. So you kind of have that little Yo, guy. Um, and he's got this big bag. It's like his little peen got in cold water and it just kind of turtled up. Down, they're like, that You did it. I did it. Because he comes from that era where they kind of figured some shit out, but not really. This was, I would say, there there were two and a half years difference in between the yeah. release of these. And um, that was a pretty formative two and a half oh, yeah. years. So, classic slag. Thing. Yeah, you have to have the wing. When I first got this, I did expect it to have the kind of over under, uh-huh. but it doesn't. It actually folds out from the side. That's how his uh, his work yeah. too. Yeah. Like, usually with slag, you or most of the Dinobots, mm-hmm. you kind yeah. of do the over under. Yeah. Thing. Sure. So he comes from that era where things just kind of fly all over the place and and until they come together. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of fold these mm-hmm. bad boys up here. He does pretty successfully fold a lot of this shit in. It's just sometimes you gotta line it up just right to get everything to click. There are a couple little grooves that you have that you don't have to hit, but it does it definitely helps. It helps, get yeah. Get in there. The grooves in the heart. I was about to say. Ah, 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 ah. The grooves in the heart. But the the groove is in the calf. The groove is actually in the calf. Yeah. Um. So yeah. And then you. A little twisty twisty. Yeah. And that's that one. So let's uh You did it. Legs jump leg, on. Leg number one is done. Leg number one and leg number one and done. I'll see you next time, kids. Thanks, bye dad. I would say of all the Dinobots, I think traditionally slag's probably the easiest. Maybe. I mean I don't, I don't really have a lot of experience with MP yeah, guys. That's true. So so he's standing now. You did it. Um, I don't know if it's just mine, but the hips up here, because they're kind of on this weird, like, sub-ratchet. Uh-huh. They're a little loose on mine, but it also could be because I've never, I haven't transformed them for a while, Mm -hmm. so I kind of didn't really realize the tolerances. Yeah. He comes from the era of backpacks. Yeah. Um, with regards to these. So, he does kind of have a nice function where he's got this little groove up in here. Mm -hmm. You just- The groove is in his back. You tuck, yeah, the groove is in his back now. You tuck it back. There's little, his back. These little horns, those little frills, are mm-hmm. actually functional. What? They actually they actually peg into these little sockets. Well, that's here. just neat. So they actually help hold this piece in place. Yeah. And you know, you got little dino wings. Yeah, of course. Of course. I'm gonna get them lined up so I can do this off camera. So classic slag. Uh, the hands are in. Um, um. 
Yeah, I'm so nervous about breaking these now after I broke some earlier. After I broke the one middle finger. Because there were a couple that I was like... It's because yours are too... A little, tight? A little too tight. Mine and, are too loose. And old. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> I haven't transformed these in a while, so I'm sure if these have oxidized, mm -hmm. I'm sure the metal in there has Sure. Too. But that's fine, because like I said, I don't really ever have them displayed in this mode. And he hasn't been in this mode in four years, so. It's kind of fun doing these weird ones. Yeah. I'm glad I never did him on a bots and shots. See, this is the, this is the knuckle of the button. Oh, all right, right there. So in classic slag transformation, put that away. Tuck the little joint up in there. Then, here you go. You got yourself a slag. He's not totally done though. I realized I forgot a step. Move the head back. No. Oh. Puts his little frills back. So the original directions call for you to pull pull the kind of frills up and back into the backpack. But I think it looks stupid as fuck like yeah. that. So I feel like his frills so should stay I'll on keep his in head. mind, because that's how everything I've ever yeah. seen with him. He's got his dino head just back. Yeah. There. He comes with kind of classic masterpiece thing where they have a little joint you plug in. Yep. So the problem with most Dinobots is they always have sheaths, mm -hmm. so you always have to contend with their dino things, but luckily these feet are that's articulated nice. a bit, that's so that's it, convenient. It, it helps a little bit with mm -hmm. getting things plugged in. Sometimes the lighting is hard to see, like where the groove actually is. Sure, the groove is in the hand. And, groove's in the hand! And... And I'm just so afraid of breaking further fingers. Mm -hmm. But it's also kind of nice you can kind of lock it into place with the little... Dino thing. So it comes with this obligatory sword. Yeah, which, which the power of the primes did not. Right. And then he comes with his dino gun. The power of the primes did actually come with yep. this model of gun. Which is weird because then Slag came with or uh, Sludge came with the same model of gun, mm -hmm. but it was not the right gun anymore. Right, because Sludge doesn't have that gun. Yeah. That's Slag's gun. Like he got it from his father. It was a gift. I'm glad you knew the lore on Slag's gun. Yeah. Oh, no, it's an I, antique. I write the wiki, bro. <laughs> Here's his gun. I have a loose arm on mine, unfortunately. Oh, that does suck. Yeah, but like I said, I never, I never. Not a big deal. Clothes. Yeah, it's not a big deal to me. But I could definitely understand. But he's also old. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's old. He's not. He's like 80s old. Well, he, but, but, he, but he's yeah. old in third party standards. Yeah, that's true. And uh, but he's. Definitely a decently impressive figure, all things considered. I can definitely understand why he was kind of the kickoff. You can kind of, you can do the wings kind of up like this if you want. It's a little tight on the joint, or you can do it kind of the side by side. He does come with the different faces. I don't have the black head on mine. I don't know yeah. if that was a later edition, but he does have a not screamy face, and then he has like the red mouth mm -hmm. you can plug to give him like the solid red head. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he's cool. there and doing his thing. Cool. We'll get into mine. Okay, you jump in yours. I'll get into mine. You jump in it. So, give, give, um, me, give, give me the play-by-play. Here, this is, the, here there he is. He's all done. All right. Sweet. Just like that. I'm definitely buying him now. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to decide, I guess I'll, I'll start with his feet as well. There's always a couple ways you can go yeah. with these. Yeah. Usually I always start with the feet just because it's just... It's easier. Well, and everything kind of, there's more stuff hidden in there usually than mm -hmm. the top bit. Yep. Especially on these Dinobots. Yeah, the top bit of slag is pretty straight. Pretty easy. You're right. Absolutely. Like, you know how slags generally work. Yep. If you know how slag you pay, works. You pay them and they go home yep. in the morning. That's right. Kind of same same bit as you. Um, his tail kind of, just kind of comes back here. So I've split his legs and, and that's, that's... Take him to dinner first. Nope. So I'm going to do one leg at a time here. I'm going to pull this down. You hear that? Nice ratchet. That does like Terminator. Come here. <laughs> 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 but like, why is Arnold? <gasps> it's okay. This is the other one. They they sent me two. Okay. No, no, and I knew this was gonna happen. So this this did just break. But oh my god, yeah. dude! This is the first we've no, 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 breaks no, off no, camera. But no, no. this is the first breakage we've had. Oh. This is the first breakage we've had. No, and that's we are okay. Get, we are getting the Plan B pill in the morning. <laughs> I have the replacement one for this. I didn't replace it because I was gonna wait for this to break first. Right. Um. Because the other side broke first. Because the other side broke. This is this side broke first, and now this side just broke. So, and, and what they did was they thickened um, where it connects. 
Oh, I see. Right yeah, here. Yeah. So, oh, man, that was so flimsy the Yeah, first it's time. very flimsy the first time. So, again, Ooh. not a not a big deal. Not Why a, would you make it this small? Yeah, yeah. Not a big deal. Um, they fixed it, and they sent me a replacement. The tip of the tail, you have to turn it to the side, and then it kind of comes around, and then he's kind of... Kind of coming around and then it comes I did in. it myself. You did it. I'm so proud of you. And that's how this one kind of folds up a little bit. Now the rest is kind of interesting because I'm gonna you flip this around like this. So just kind of like yours. And now his waist is actually backwards. Now he's done. Now he's done. So I'm gonna flip his whole waist around like this. Okay. Uh, now to open this up, there's a little tab right here. Nice. And then this comes open. And then what happens? I, I like that old horror movie door. Yeah, example. Yeah. yeah. So hello. This is this part kind of comes up right here, and then it kind of collapses nice. in like this. And then this is the cool part. So this whole thing just kind of flips around inside, and then you just gotta kind of line up so it lines up in, in the groove, which is in the heart. Ha! Yeah, like this, and then you just kind of re re-tab this back in and then this part actually collapses in and there's a little tab for the back and then you can't see it on the camera and then you just kind of snap snap it in the place that in right there. there so it keeps it all the tail the sucky part is the tail does kind of hang out in the back of his leg like this well well we'll, we'll get to that with the yeah camera. okay well, you're, you're right, you're right. I, I also have a, a okay and, and then th there's a little piece right here that fills a gap and then this just kind of See, folds in these both there. demonstrate that in this era, there's no need to have side feet kibble on the side of Correct. the calves. You Correct. can tuck them in the boots. Correct. They got so, big boots. You flip in his toes, um, pull out this little thing, flip that in, we flip this in. Um, to dinner for a second. No, no, no. Come on, man. I don't, dude, this is not how my dad raised me. Your dad is dead. No, my dad's He's alive. He's been dead for 10 years. You're dead. You flashbacked all these ghost moments. <sighs> I'm your dad. The whole time? I'm your dad. I'm your dad now, kid. All right, and then this just closes up. Keep the two halves from separating. Now, if you want so to... So you're segregating the parts. Yeah, yep. Keep hey. it separate but equal. It's Strom Thurman. Thanks. You're welcome. So there's, there's his bottom half all kind of done. His wings. Some would say his better half. His wings kind of hang out here. His arms just kind of come down. Um, I like that we always address that he has wings. Like yep. even though he's not a flying nope. creature. And then his hands do classic slag transformation. Come out like this. And I will I'm say proud of them for coming out. Yeah. Um, if you don't put his hands in correctly, and I've done this twice. His fingers get jammed up in his sleeves, and you have yeah. to take his whole arm apart that was, to get it uh, that out. That was a very similar issue with the Exo Realm yeah. figure, where if you didn't have the hand turned the right way, yeah. it would get locked up in there. Yes. It. I've had to take apart his whole arm um, twice to undo it, and it's a pain in the, in the ass. Now, his head, the whole thing kind of... Uh, oh, first the mouth. The mouth turns around. It's gonna give him some more room, and there's actually mm -hmm. nice, a, nice, nice bottom. Some palette. pegs right. right here, and then they just kind of match up, and you just kind of push it in. So they, yeah, uh, and then this whole thing kind of rocks back on itself to give more room for the actual head. You for open up for the show. Yeah, you open up the chest. The head pops, bada bing, bada right, boom, right out there. Close up the chest, uh, and then turn it around so I can see it properly. Yeah. Take your time. Feel the space out. I think I didn't get his uh, his frill. His, his head rocked back. I know the there frills are a little bit of an issue with most legs. It's true, but you know he's a ceratops. He is a ceratops of the tri variety. Okay. And then probably tomorrow or whatever I'll replace yeah, this. Out. Yeah, they actually they sent me so it's this, and you unscrew it right here, and it unscrews so the, whole the whole thing. thing. So you swap out this whole thing. Um, and it's it's super easy. It takes like five minutes. I think it's fun to see the perils of third party ownership on camera. It's though. true. Like, yeah, you know, we so you know what you're spending of your all money. of the years we've done this. 
We've had we've this is the on um, this is actually the first breakage we've had on camera. On camera. The other breakages have happened off camera. The very first episode of uh, Fans Project Code broke yeah. right after we finished filming. Yeah. When I was demonstrating to you something. Yep. And then his knuckle broke transforming him tonight. Oh uh, that's not true. My uh my Warbatron spa uh that's blast right. off that's the nose cone <laughs> fell off of yeah. off of him. Right. I ended up sending that to uh, Papa Gord. So same as yours, he comes with his sword. With us. And it was sa- it's a very similar looking sword. Yeah, like the little round. And even, um, I see yours, it has a button on the bottom yeah, has- for a light up feature. I know, we'll, I we'll get into that. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll get into that. So I'm gonna spread I, out his fingers. I almost poked myself in the face so hard with a horn earlier in my, at the house when I was Trying transforming him, just to make sure the weapons fit. Okay, so there's his sword. His and sword. then his... Gun. So mine's not shiny and silver like yours. Mine is very black and matte, and it's a it's a lot bigger. Very masculine. Yeah. Definitely not compensating for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely not. <laughs> and that's a problem. Yeah, it's the same with him. Like, okay, is it? The only the only saving grace that this one has is these feet that are posable, yeah. lock it in. Like they help, okay. you can push them forward into so the, to lock see, it. Like, see how it's like sitting against it and against this, so it doesn't mm-hmm. have a lot of room to tilt backwards. Gotcha. These are them. These are go, they. Go ahead and let's talk about yours. So for my personal taste, I wish he'd had the black head and whatever, but th- th- this was at the beginning of this phase. I think they did a version of him later that came with the black head and the red horns instead. Mm-hmm. But whatever, it is, it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, they did a bunch of different versions of yours. They did a G2 version. Yeah, it was green. The, yeah, stuff. they did uh, um, like a, the X version where everything is a lot like shinier. Yeah, chromier, or chromier. Chromier. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, more yeah. metallic. Yeah. Overall, I'm fine with mine because I keep mine in Dinobot mode, so it doesn't really bother mm-hmm. me with some of the accessories. He has light up weapons. I don't have batteries in them, but they have little buttons. I'll do it on the sword. Where is it on the, on the bottom? Right yeah. Right there. Oh, it's on that one. Yeah. Yeah, he has little light up buttons. I don't have the the stuff in the L L forty sevens or whatever they yeah. require. Yeah. Like most masterpieces, there's an issue of clearance. Like the pegs work with hands, but they don't work super well. He has the saving grace of having these like movable little <clears throat> forepaws or the little fingers, so he mm-hmm. can kind of help secure them. Yeah. That's kind of his only really saving grace. He does have a nice little ratchet head. He's Mine's a little loose with that, but whatever. Yeah. I've, I've played with him a lot. It's mostly from it's his kind dino of a bummer. mode. Yeah. Mostly from his dino mode. I mean, it, I think it's kind of like... Still kind of a bummer. Yeah, it's a bummer, but I think yeah. it's before we were pre-ratcheting everything. Sure. So, uh, he's there. He's got pretty good range of motion for everything else. He's a little loose in the hips because of the transformation, but from the front, he's a great tall-looking bot. His only problem... It kibble wise, because that's the other thing with Dinobots, you always have kibble, kibble. in some place. Yeah. How does it deal with all the kibble? So he's got a nice little compact section here for his leg meat, mm-hmm. which actually does look pretty good, yep. decently well when you fold it up, especially given its era of, of third party stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's got his wings. His problem, and this is always a problem with Dinobots, is what to do with their tails. Yep. Um, his, they fixed it by having a back panel. Mm-hmm. So the tail is on, attached to this back panel that stretches the whole box. On, on the original toy, his legs are on the outside, and the tail just kind of yeah, just hangs, just hangs down. Yeah. So this, they they put the, the legs inside, so you don't have the side kibble on the calves, but the tail is part of this backpack piece that folds up, which does a pretty good job. I mean, you still notice a backpack on Yeah, them. he still has a backpack. From the front... I think he's the only of their Dinobots that has a backpack, too. Yeah. Yeah. From the front, he looks great. From the back, he's a little messy, but at least they installed grooves that it securely pegs in there. You don't have to something you're just kind of like hoping that force will kind of keep it mm-hmm. in there. So it's not as bad as it could be, but it could be a lot better. But also, this is a 2014 mold, so or maybe even earlier. I'm not exactly yeah, sure when this came out. I don't out. remember actually now. 2014-ish. Actually, it might be earlier than that. It might be 13. It might be 13 or 12. Yeah. But uh, in any case, this is. Decent for the era that it came out. Sure, and absolutely. So it was actually remarkable for the era it came yeah. out. But and he does he does have some nice little you know foot 
swivel so you can kind of have him in more of a staggered pose if you mm-hmm. want to. He's not a bad figure. It's one of those figures that after transforming him again, I'm like, man, maybe I should keep him in robot mode. But I do love his Triceratops modes. So. I think he is widely considered the worst of the fans toys Dinobots. Yeah. Though. Yeah, and he is like the first out the gate, so sure. it's usually yeah. the case with those. Yeah. But not a really problem with me because I usually keep him in, in dino mode anyway. But sure. He's a, not a bad little guy. Yeah. So, what do you got? Yeah. So this is obviously a Giga Power Grassor in his robot mode. So again, to kind of counteract the kibble, of course he's got his wings. And his wings aren't, don't move up like yours do, which is neat, but they do kind of move back Although and you can I, move them in. No, to be fair, I do have an issue. Like this one is a little bit more successful at holding than the other gotcha. one. Gotcha. To get rid of the tail, they just kind of drape it along the back. Now that <laughs> the um, the leg kind of has a, uh, it kind of pushes in a little bit. I guess I'll do the one that's not broken. It kind of pushes in a little bit to, to give more clearance to the tail that's mm. hanging out so it's not sticking out as yeah. far as it could be. Uh, and then just like yours, the leg sits inside here. But if you prefer to have a more G1 toy look, you can keep the legs on the outside. Mm. And it comes with fillers to oh. put in here. So if you prefer the toy look, you can put the gap fillers in here and keep the legs on the outside. Oh. That's 100% up to you on if you want to do that or not. Some of the issues I have with his articulation, you can hear lots of ratchets in his legs, which is great. They're actually pretty yeah, pretty sturdy ratchets. Yeah, that's a lot of yeah, yeah, it's a it's a lot. This is very he's got a lot of die casts. Yeah. He's a very big heavy bot. So, the ratchets are definitely working overtime on this. Some of the problems I have though is he does have an ankle tilt down here but not much. Typically his leg this whole, yeah, whole thing. it's like he has rickets a little bit yeah. with how this it's, usually it's works. It's the same with yeah. the X Transbots Elegos. It, yeah. ha- it has a proper knee joint, but yeah. Most, but most but what wants to move is a transformation. Is, 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 yeah. yeah. Also, his wrists are really loose, so they tend to flop over, especially on him. But I'm glad this came off because I pre ordered him and I do have his flame effects here. <laughs> so, what. Are these the same flame ones that work for the mouth if you had the adapter? Yes. Okay. So you can, if you want to, encase his sword in flames. Now it makes it even heavier, so it has an even harder time keeping it up, if you know what I mean, there. The Lord of Light giveth, but he taketh away, right? There we go. That's exactly what they taught me in Game of Thrones. That's uh, that's him with his flame sword here. And he is flaming. He's flaming. Again, just like yours, he, you can put batteries in the sword and in the gun. Uh, I don't because I just don't think it's that interesting I know. Uh, detail. Just, those batteries that they need for these are expensive. There's a few bots that come with them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, cool, that's awesome. Yeah. But other than that, I never the only, ever installed The them. only time I bought some is... Was, uh, was it for the Optimus Primal? Yes, Optimus yeah. Primal. So but I, I think because we were doing it on the show, yes. we were like, I want to do Because I really wanted to see Optimus Primal's eyes light up. Yeah. So I bought them for Optimus Primal, and I, they came with three batteries in the package, and I needed two of them. So I have one extra battery hanging out, and all of these need two. So I have to go buy, like, two more packages of them, and they're kind of expensive. So anyway, yeah, this is an issue. If you buy one of these, buy, just buyer beware. I think they fixed it now. Because this was an initial release version. Sorry, I knocked his sword out of his uh, How dare. I've been, I've been the drinking, and now I'm fixated on my mm-hmm. problem. If you have a first release of these, your tail, is if it breaks, is probably only a matter of time. Because as you can see, I wasn't really manhandling this to have it break. It just kind of... You don't know what I've seen off camera. That's true. But yeah, it just it's so small right here that this there's a lot of pressure on this piece, but they will send you a new one. But it does it does suck. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm bummed that I have to go pull out the other one from the closet here and replace it. Although it doesn't take long. Yeah. Uh, it's just kind of a bummer. That's fair. But it is a problem. It's not that big of a deal. They fix it for free. Yeah. So should we compare these motherfuckers? Yeah. So what we got? Well, obviously so yours is a little bit smaller. Mine is obviously, bigger. I did not realize that he was not too far off. He's not that far off. Oh, yeah, I, like, This is like a half inch difference. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not just the size though, it's also the girth. Yeah, yeah the, the girth. It's yeah. the girth. It's Mine's the girth. girthier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yours falls apart, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but not fair. It, um, these are both... I don't know, there's one glaring problem with both of them. 
And what's that? Oh, I have to say, I'm oh. sorry. Mine, because mine does come with a red head. So mine comes oh, okay. with a black so head you can swap it out. and a red head. He comes with two faces, one stoic and one kind of screaming like there yours. You you. And then he comes with two different eye colors. He comes with red eyes and he comes with blue yeah. eyes. I know the second version of him or the metallic one yeah. came with the black head and yeah. the blue eyes also. And there is a metallic version of this where it's, see, um, that's, that's the problem yeah. that makes it heavy. This is not chrome. It's just a matte painted version. Anyway. What's the glaring so, issue? They're pretty, for the most part, pretty decently matched. Yeah? I mean, like, they both got very similar articulation. The only problem that they have that I can see is this kibble. Mm-hmm. Sorry. And this kibble. Yeah. So, so they both have kibble issues. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise... Basically how they deal with the tail. Yeah. But to be fair... And they're both just two different ways of dealing with, with the, the tail. Which is yeah. always going to... Because yeah. you either... Put the feet in, or you put the tail in. Uh-huh. You can't do both. Yeah, and, and to be fair, they're both better than the original toy. Oh yeah, where the tail just hangs on, literally like a long plastic thing. Although the only one that does the reverse of these is the power of the primes one, where you can hide the tail inside. That's true. But you have but the, the legs on the outside. Thing. Yeah, I would prefer the legs being on the outside and the tail, because if you look at it from the front on either of them. The tail is not an issue. No, yeah. It's only if you're looking at it from the side and who, or from the back. And who yeah. looks at their toys from the side or the back? I know. I look at the back, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. It's basically just kind of a... The, I think it comes down to the aesthetic you want yeah, for your That's piece. true. I will say, specifically between these two, mine wins. Before you poo-poo that, the only thing reason I say that is bigger and cost less. Okay. Cost less, yes. I would say in robot mode, yours wins. Yeah. In dino mode... Mine wins. And the only reason I say that is because you are more tune accurate than I am, and mine is completely tune accurate. Which is the only reason Dino okay. Mode, Dino that's, mode wins. That's true. Dino okay. mode for this one wins. Robot, robot mode, mode for this, this one. one. So it depends on how you want to display yeah, your, exactly. your data bus. Since I have since mine you, in robot mode, so it works perfectly. Yeah. I do mine in Dino mode. I have them next to MPO8, mm-hmm. Grimlock, and they scale really well together yeah. in Dino mode. And that's all I need. I don't all really. Right. The rest yeah. of the Dinobots are cool, but I don't, yeah. I don't really want to invest that much money in fucking fans' toys. The bigger is cool, but to be honest with you, it also kind of sucks. Finding a place to display these <laughs> yeah. in robot or dino mode sucks. Yeah. I have them, they're squished together up here on my top shelf. Yeah. And I mean squished together. Like, if when I get Grimlock, I don't know where I'm going to put him because he won't fit up there. Yeah, you're so going to you're gonna have to knock out a whole shelf. I'll have to bring, dedicate a whole shelf to these guys. And if I want to put them in, in dino modes, yeah. it's going to take up, I think, even more room. No, yeah. I, th- I think you yeah. have to have them all in bot mode on one yeah. shelf. And then you could put like little versions of them in front in the yeah. dino modes if you yeah. wanted to have a representation. I, w- I don't think I'll be able to put... like like Bigger sounds cooler, but it's also inherently... It's a problem. Yeah. It always just comes yeah. down to what you collect and what you build your collection to be. 100%. All right. Well, uh, that's it. Yeah. We did it. Let's finish these off. Finish this bitch off. So let us know down in the downstairs area. What was your favorite of these two? Which one do you own? Either of these? Do did we convince you to buy do you, one or the other? Did do you this, own both? And more that we don't even own. Did you? Did this scare you off? Just I'm being. This is, I, well, I love that this happened. I oh, know that's. I'm so. I'm so glad this happened. And people are saying, yeah, right. He's just telling himself that. No, I literally have the replacement part in here. Yeah. Anyways, so let us know yeah. down in the downstairs area. Which of these do you like? Which don't you like? Uh, do you like Dinobots? Do you like Transformers? Are you just watching this because you're sad and home and alone? Let we would let, be if we weren't doing this. That's true. Just let us know. We love to read and respond to all of... I love to read and respond to I all I occasionally. Those. Very Zach, occasionally. Very, if, you, if you get a Zach response, you should feel fucking like lucky. Ex- yeah. Ecstatic. He never does that. Comment, like, share... Subscribe. Should we do more of these? Like, more do you like these little one-offs these? instead of long things? I feel like I'm. I'm not just as drunk as at the end, but I feel like I'm. I'm. I'm pretty buzzed. I'm. I'm at the fun buzzed state. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. At, I'm not at the belligerently drunk I'm state. I'm round three buzzed right now. I think. I feel like I'm round four buzzed like, right now. Well, for me, I'm like two to three. Yeah. Maybe I don't drink beer a lot. Sure. I don't know. I, I could drink more. I'm good. I could drink more. Yeah. I definitely because we, we usually might. at the end of usually at the end of ours I'm like. 
fall asleep yeah. instead of drug. I'm like, yeah, whatever. We're done now. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. No, I, I feel pretty good. Yeah, but I, I, this was fun for me. Yeah. Just focusing on one bot and getting a little more detail into it. Uh, and getting a little more detail in the transformation. Yeah. Also, because these are normally things that we would not have done on our on bots. And in shorts. retrospect, I probably could have done this guy in an yeah. earlier round, but whatever. I yeah. didn't think about it. I think we've gotten a lot braver <laughs> than, yeah. than we first decided. That's true. Yeah. But also, are there other MPs you'd like us to try? Yeah. We might have them. We might pair them up. Yeah. We got some random shit. We might have an idea for a Megatron three-way coming up. Who knows? <laughs> Who could even say Who that that say? might happen? Maybe yeah. it'd be a shock three-way. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll do uh, another Tanks and Planes. Yeah, who knows? Who, the sky is the limit. It's literally the limit. I mean, like, not that limit, because, like, you know. Oh, also, there's a concert coming up. Vince DiCola. Oh, yeah. Vince DiCola. Vince DiCola's playing in San Diego. Yeah, the, the fucking meister, the, the, the maestro of the Transformers, the movie soundtrack. soundtrack. That's not Stan Bush. Yeah, the South Sand Bush. Although Vista Colo wrote Dare. Yeah. Well, he wrote the music for he Dare. He wrote the music yeah. for Dare. Yeah, yeah, he does the entire score. He's going to be doing songs from that and Rocky IV. What? Yes. It's built on things playing the brick by brick. Uh, the Thursday of Comic Con. Yeah. I have the date. We're gonna... July, I want to say 18th. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. We're going to throw the link down below. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put the date yeah. down here. We're going to be there. We're going to be there. You should be there. You should be there. If you can. I mean, yeah. San Diego is kind of off. Vince DeCola. Vince DeCola. DeCola. Vince DeCola. You should go. We're going to be there. If you, you live in go. San Diego, you should go. We'll drink, we'll dance, we'll have a good time. Yeah, or around, around San Diego. We'll just have fun. Or if you're coming into town for Comic-Con. We won't be at Comic Con, but we'll be around yeah. Comic Con at least on that Thursday. And it's a Thursday night, like it's the early night of Comic Con. You're not going to be wasted <laughs> enough yet, so have, come out and dance. It's come true. Out and dance. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Let's go dance. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it, baby. Thanks so. for watching. Yeah, that's it. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.